Hello once again, my dear students. Today being a Wednesday, we are having math. So for today's lesson, it's going to be a continuation from last week's lesson. Last week's lesson, we were introduced to measurement. And we said something little about length. Well, for today's lesson, we are having a continuation from that discussion from that discussion and let's continue and see what else we shall be talking about so shall we proceeding on to the vocabularies for the day we shall be looking at two words two new words lighter 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 heavier 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 so today we shall be looking at work lighter and heavier means more like we are gonna be introduced to the words lighter and heavier okay lighter and heavier a few pointers I want us to take note of our same meter or in abbreviation CM is a unit of measurement of small or short objects one more time our same meter which is abbreviated as CM is a unit of measurement of small or short objects point two a meter abbreviated as m is a unit of measurement for long objects or distances a meter abbreviated as m is a unit of measurement for long objects or distances and lastly one meter equals a hundred centimeters okay one meter equals a hundred centimeters what is it can you guess what this object is well this is a ruler okay this is a ruler and a ruler helps us measure length of short objects a ruler helps us measure length of short objects the ruler is used to measure length the ruler is used to measure length the ruler has both centimeters and meters the ruler can have centimeters meters or inch in this particular case our centimeter has got inch or inches and centimeters we can see this object is 17.6 centimeters let's look at this example this is a ruler that has been marked in inches this is a ruler that has been marked in inches and it's measuring the length of the crayon this ruler is measuring the length of this crayon in inches okay in inches as you can see the inches are labeled one two three four five six when we look at this picture we have another ruler that has been marked in 
send mirrors. There has been mark in send mirrors. And we have send mirrors from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and lastly seventeen. This ruler has been marked in centimeters from one centimeter to seventeen centimeter. Great. So measurement we have length. Remember we said when you're trying to measure two objects, make sure they are both having the same starting point. Make sure the objects have the same starting point so that we can determine the exact length of the object. In this case, we have a pen pencil and a crayon. And the pencil is longer than the crayon. Okay, the pencil is longer than the crane and or you can also say the crane is shorter than the pencil okay the crane is shorter than the pencil and now let's move on to mass and weight mass and weight Right here, we have a few instruments that we can use to measure mass and weight. Comparing masses. Comparing masses. In this picture, we can see an arm. On this side, the arm the hand is holding a piece of chalk and on this side the hand is holding chalkboard eraser okay this is a chalkboard eraser and this is a piece of chalk so a stick of chalk is lighter than a chalkboard eraser a stick of chalk is lighter than our chalkboard eraser. We can determine the weight by just holding two objects together and then try to determine which object is lighter or which object is heavier, as we shall be seeing in our examples. Now, we have this measuring tool right here. We have this measuring tool right here. And this is a balance beam scale. This is a balance beam scale. As you can see, this is an empty balance beam scale, meaning it's got no objects on it. But when we look at this one, it has some objects that it's weighing. So we can use a balance beam scale to compare weights. We can use a balance beam scale to compare weights. Yes, we can compare weights, meaning let's determine which is heavier or lighter okay so we have this beam balance having an upper on one side of the scale and our hamburger on the other side of the scale so one object has got to be heavier than the other or we can say one object has got to be lighter than the other. 
in this case the apple is heavier than the hamburger we can say the apple is heavier than the hamburger or the hamburger is lighter than the apple or we can say the hamburger is lighter than the apple we also have a picture that has a pig this is a pig and this is a dog one object has to be heavier and the other object has to be lighter in this case the pig is heavier than the dog or we can say the dog is lighter than the pig when we look at this picture we can see this balance here having two cans when one can settles down that means it's heavier than the other and when one bounces in the air meaning it's lighter than the other so that too can be used to determine which object is lighter or which object is heavier and that has been it for our lesson today for today's assignment let's check page 18 22 23 to 24 check pages 18 22 23 to 24 please do fill in the assignment but it mostly has to do with coloring Thank you for listening and have a great day. See you soon.